بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اهلا وسهلا بحضراتكم I'm Dr. Ala Fathi from Agusa Police Hospital and today I will discuss ventricular septal rupture complication after acute myocardial infarction patient medical history female patient 65 years old known to be hypertensive with a positive family history of ischemic heart disease came to ER complaining of typical chest pain ECG was done and it revealed anteroseptal myocardial infarction. Bedside echo was done and revealed, as we can see here, uh, apical four chamber view with basal and mid infraseptal echinacea with aneurysmal dilatation in apical septum and apical septum defect with 2D echo color doppler revealed left to right shunting as we can see here left to right shunting from the apical septum defect color wave doppler revealed high flow jet from left to right transesophageal echo was done and revealed left to right chanting as we can see here this is a aortic valve left ventricle and right ventricle with a defect measuring about 1.4 centimeter And this is left to right shunting in the color Doppler flow. This is another view for the defect. Epical septum defect was left to right shunting in the transesophageal echo. As we can see here, the most common cause for mechanical infarction complication after a STEMI is prolonged or pre hospital delay in companion with absence of primary PCI and prolonged age and uh, female sex in the dyslipidemia. All these risk factors may induce uh, mechanical complications such as free wall rupture or and finally we have two types for ventricular septal rupture after inferior myocardial infarction will induce basal inferior septal rupture and after anterior myocardial infarction will induce apical septum rupture as in our case and thank you